dear students in this session of e-commerce we will discuss on payment system prevailed in e-commerce and ethical issues e-commerce payment system e-commerce sites use electronic payment where electronic payment refers to paperless monetary transactions electronic payment have revolutionized the business processing by reducing paperwork transaction cost labor cost etc some of the modes of electronic payments are use of credit card use of debit card by means of smart card by way of e money transaction and electronic fund transfer which comprises rtgs and neft let's take look one by one credit card credit card is one of most common mode of electronic payment credit card is a small plastic card with a unique number attached with an account it has also a magnetic stripe embedded in it which is used to read credit card via card readers when a computer purchases a product via credit card credit card issuer bank pays on behalf of the consumer and consumer has a certain time period after which she or he can pay the credit card bill it is usually credit card monthly payment cycle the next one that is debit card debit card is a small plastic card like credit card with a unique number mapped with the bank account number it is required to have a bank account before getting a debit card from the bank the major difference between debit card and credit card is that in case of payment through debit card amount gets deducted from debit from card's bank <coughs> account immediately and there should be sufficient balance in bank account for the transaction to be get completed whereas in case of credit card there is no such compulsions the debit card free ourselves i mean customers to carry cash checks and even merchants accepts debit card more readily the next one that is a smart card a smart card which is similar to credit card and debit card in appearance but it has a small microprocessor chip embedded in it it has the capacity to store customer work related personal information a smart card is also used to store money in which it reduces as per uses a smart can can be accessed only using a pin pin i mean ki personal identification number of customer A smart cards are secure as they stores information in encrypted format and are less expensive and or provides faster processing The another way to transfer money that is e money electronic money e money transactions refers to situation where payment is done over the network and amount gets transferred from one financial body to another financial body without any involvement of a middleman e money transactions are faster convenient and saves a lot of time online payments done via credit card debit card or a smart card all comes under the purview of e money another popular example example is 
ई कॉमर्स पॉपुलर एग्जाम्पल इज ई कैश यस ई कैश इन केस ऑफ ई कैश बोथ कस्टमर एंड मर्चेंट हैव टू साइन अप विथ द बैंक और कंपनी यूजिंग ई कैश फैसिलिटी एंड द मोस्ट फेमिलियर एंड यूजफुल मीन्स टू ट्रांसफर ह्यूज अमाउंट इज इलेक्ट्रॉनिक फंड ट्रांसफर इन शॉर्ट वी कॉल इट ई एफ टी ई एफ टी इज ए वेरी पॉपुलर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक पेमेंट मेथड टू ट्रांसफर मनी फ्रॉम वन बैंक अकाउंट टू अनदर बैंक अकाउंट अकाउंट कैन बी इन सेम बैंक और डिफरेंट बैंक दैट डज नॉट मैटर फंड ट्रांसफर कैन बी डन यूजिंग ए टी एम और यूजिंग कंप्यूटर इट सेल्फ इंटरनेट बेस्ड ई एफ टी is getting popularity in this case customer uses website provided by the bank customer logins to the bank's website and registers another bank account she or he then places a request to transfer certain amount to that account customer's bank transfers amount to another account if it is in the same bank otherwise transfer request to forward to automated clearing house which is uh, in short called sch to transfer amount to another account and amount is deducted for customer's account once amount is transferred to other account customer is notified of the fund transfer bank the by the bank nowadays neft national electronic fund transfer and rtgs real time gross settlement which are very popular means to transfer amount from one account to another so these are the various mode ways by which we does payment for uh, payment in e-commerce now come to the another issue which is most uh, important to discuss and that is ethics business ethics first of all we should take a look on the ethics ethics is the branch of philosophy that studies what is right and what is wrong ethical rules are rules to follow in our interactions with other people and in our actions that affect other people they apply to all of us and are intended to achieve good results for people in general and for situation in particular not just for ourselves and not just for one situation now business ethics is concerned with the numerous ethical questions that managers or who are managing the business must confront as part of their daily business decision makings so <clears throat> the business ethical issues managers use several important alternatives to mitigate confrontation to make ethical decisions on business issues these include a stockholder theory social contract theory and a stakeholder theory be attentive a stockholder and a stakeholder don't be confused i am taking one by one a stockholder theory it holds that managers are agents of the stockholders and they are only and they are only ethical responsibility is to increase the profits of the business without violating the law or engaging in fraudulent practices social contract theory which states that companies have ethical responsibility to all members of society which allow corporations to exist based on a social contract and the next one is a stakeholder theory 
which maintains that managers have an ethical responsibility to manage a firm for the benefit of all of its stakeholders, which are all individuals and groups that have a stake in or claim or on the company. Ab, now, we have to see what principles are available and to be implemented in the e-commerce. So, ethical principles in e-commerce. Increasing computing power, storage and networking capabilities including the internet which expand the reach of individual and organizational actions and magnify their impacts. The ease and anonymity with which information is now communicated, copied and manipulated in online environments pose new challenges to the protection of privacy and intellectual property. The main ethical, social and political issues raised by information systems centered around information rights and obligations. Property rights and obligations, accountability and control, system quality and quality of life. There are six ethical principles for judging conduct which includes the number one is golden rule. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you means putting yourself into the place of others and thinking of yourself as the object of the decision can help you think about fairness in decision making. कहने का मतलब कि अगर कुछ आप काम करते हो किसी से करवाते हो तो अपने आप को उस जगह रखो और आप जो उनको डायरेक्टिव दे रहे हो उन डायरेक्टिव को अपने ऊपर लेकर करके देखो कि क्या यह एथिकली करेक्ट डायरेक्शंस दिया जा रहा है काम करने वाले को अगर आप फील करते हो कि यह सही है देन सही है सो दिस इज नोन एज गोल्डन रूल द अनदर दैट इज इमानुअल कैंट कैटेगोरिकल इंपरेटिव इफ एन एक्शन इज नॉट राइट फॉर एवरीवन टू टेक इट इज नॉट राइट फॉर एनी वन दैट इज आस्क योर If everyone did this, could the organization or society survive? कहने का मतलब कि अगर आप कुछ कर रहे हो करवा रहे हो और अगर उसी चीज को सारे लोग करेंगे तो क्या वो संस्था समाज में कोई परेशानी तो नहीं होगी So this is categorical imperative rule of Amunal cants. The third one that is discourage rule of change. If an action cannot be taken repeatedly, it is not right to take at all. This is all the slippery slope rule means an action may bring about a small change that is acceptable, but if it is repeated, it would bring unacceptable changes in the long run. In the vernacular, it might be stated as once started down a slippery path, you may not be able to stop. कहने का मकसद कि आप जो कर रहे हो अगर एक आध बार किया तो ठीक है थोड़ी सी भी उसमें चूक है और आप उसको रिपीट कर रहे हो तो फिर अल्टीमेटली आपका जो है सो पर्पज सोल्व नहीं होगा और आप गलत डेस्टिनेशन पर पहुंचोगे कहने का इसी के उदाहरण स्वरूप हम लोग यहां कह रहे हैं कि अगर आप एक स्लोप पर चलना शुरू किए तो शुरू में तो ठीक है लेकिन अगर ज्यादा देर चल जाओगे तो आप में एक एनर्जी डेवलप कर जाएगा तो आपका रुकना मुश्किल हो जाएगा द नेक्स्ट वन दैट इज यूटिलिटेरियन प्रिंसिपल Take the action that achieves the higher or greater value. This rule assumes you can prioritize values in the rank order and understand the consequences of various courses of action. The <coughs> next one is risk aversion principle. 
take the action that produces the least harm or least potential cost. Some actions have extremely high failure cost of very low probability or extremely high failure costs of moderate probability. Avoid these high failure cost actions paying greater attention to the high failure cost potential of moderate to high probability. And the last one which requires more attention. Assume that Bhar, uh, which is known as uh, uh, ethical no free lunch rule. Here we assume that virtually all tangible and intangible objects are owned by someone else unless there is a specific declaration. Otherwise, that is, if something someone else has created is useful to you, it has value and you should assume the creator wants compensation. Kahi kuch hai, to wo kisi ka hai. Bhale hi wo dikh nahi raha ho, aur agar hum uska istamal karte hai, to ye hamari jimwari banti hai ki hum pata kare ki ya kin ka hai. और चूंकि उनका चीज को हम इस्तेमाल कर रहे हैं तो उसके लिए उनको हम सब्सक्रिप्शन कंपनसेशन या जो भी फी है उसको हम पे करें यह मेरा एथिकल रिस्पांसिबिलिटी बनता है एंड दिस इज वन ऑफ द रूल व्हिच इज नोन एज नो फ्री लंच मुफ्त का भोजन नहीं है जिसने बनाया है जिसने उसको लाया है उसका उसमें क्लेम है और उसको कंपनसेशन subscription chahiye. So, these principles should be used in conjunction with an ethical analysis. Kehne ka maksad ki ye rules or principles to hain jarur, magar ab is par analysis karke isko hum log implement kare, to ya jada useful hoga. Now, these ethical principles, for, uh, to implement these ethical principles, some ethical issues raised. The worst side of e-commerce is also something and that cannot be ignored. What do you mean the worst side is about the ethical issues in e-commerce? These issues involve the irresponsible parties who always give threats both to consumers and business organizations in form of web spoofing. It is an electronic deception, deception matlab dhokha. Deception relates to the internet. It occurs when the attackers step up a fake website which almost totally same with the original website in order to lure matlab fuslana consumers to give their credit card number or other personal information. For example, a attacker set up a site called www.micros0ft, not OFT. In the spelling of soft, it uses S0ft which appears like soft.com. Using the new number 0 in place of the letter O, which many users sometimes type by mistake. Users might find themselves in a situation that they do not notice they are using a fake website and give their credit card details or other information. So, beware from it. The cyber squatting. It is an activity by which a person or firm Register purchases and use the existing domain name belong to the well-known organization for the purpose of infringing its trademark. This type of person or firm called cyber squatters usually infringe the trademarks to extort the payment from original trademarks owner. Privacy invasion. This issue is related to consumer. The privacy invasion occurs when the personal details belongs to consumer are exposed to the unauthorized party. Online privacy. 
the online privacy can be defined as unauthorized copyright of electronic intellectual property such as such as ebooks musics or videos this unethical activity occurs when the internet users use the software and hardware technology in an illicit manner to transfer the electronic intellectual property over the internet email spamming email spamming also known as unsolicited commercial email in short uce involves using email to send or broadcast unwanted advertisement or correspondence over the internet the individual who spam their email usually called a spammer many spammers broadcast their email for the purpose of trying to get people's financial information in order to defraud them the example of fraud using email is a spammers which lures consumers to enter their personal information or fake website using email forced to look into look like it is from authorized organizations such as bank this technique is also known as phishing so here we discussed that the various ethical principles and the ethical issues so this is all about this session thanks for watching video okay thank you